Hello everybody, Zookeeper Chris coming at you with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to build your very own Ash Greninja. Now, I'm going to be splitting this up into four parts. Not not the actual video, um, the build I'm going to be splitting up into four parts, because it does it is a bit complicated, and there's a lot of pieces in this. So, to build the head of your Ash Greninja, you will need two of these one by one uh, slabs with little hinge points coming out of it. <laughs> one by one plates with in red. Another one by one plate, but in beige. And if you have this as a slab, use that instead. Two of these one by one plate slabs, I mean, in red and blue. Three of these one by two plates two blue and one red, two of these studs in red, one one by two plate with a stud coming out of it, one one by four uh, slab with an, a kind of attachment, a V brick in black, a red one by four, no, two by four in kind of circular piece and one one by three slope. Now first get your circular red piece. Now you need your one by one hinge points along with a the beige brick. So place it on like so. And this will be the bottom half of Ash Greninja, including the round tongue. So put that to the side. Now get your V brick, your two red studs, and put them on the bottom. Oops. Now get your one by one blue slab and place it on in the middle of the the V brick. And next you're going to need your one by two plates in blue and place them on the same places as the studs. And then get your red slab and place it on like so. Next get your slope and you need to kind of position it so that it's diagonal and yeah, like this. Alright, now you just need to put them together and your Ash Greninja head is almost complete. Now you just need to build the tongue and for that you just place the you, you just need to place the one by one red plate the one by one, uh, the one by two who red plate, and the one by one, one by two plates with stud in the middle. And maybe you're wondering why I chose red. It's mainly because I don't have e any enough pink things. And you can also move this tongue. So there we go. Put it to the side. And now we need to begin with his weapon, his water shuriken. So for this, you will need one brick, one by one brick with studs coming out of all sides, four of these lightsaber pieces, four of these Chima crystal pieces, one of these kind of frisbee bricks, four, well, one stud, blue, and four of these cylinder pieces. So to begin, First you need to get your Chima Crystal, then your Cylinder piece, and then you need to stick the lighter piece through the Cylinder piece to the Chima Crystal, and then you have one point of the Shuriken, and you just need to do that on all sides, and you should have each point.
Then you need to get the stud and place it on the top of the brick. And then you need to get the frisbee and place it on the bottom. And there you have his shuriken. Now will take that to the side. Now you need to get working on the body of Ash Greninja. So, you're first going to need one of these 1x2 bricks with studs coming out. Except uh, there was an exhaust, kind of exhaust pipe coming out of one side that I cut off. And this kind of piece is really useful because I use it in a lot of my builds. You're also going to need two droid bodies. One, one by two plate with a stud coming out of it. Six of these little droid hands. Two of these kind of nozzle bricks. Four of these one by one plate slabs with hinge points coming out. And one of six of these um I don't know what these are. They they're the kind of pieces that you would put into the holes of bricks or or technic pieces. That kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So you're gonna need about six of these. Also a T rod. And two of these flat studs. Or smooth studs. Two of these uh, normal blue studs. A 1x2 slab in blue, a 1x1 plate in beige, and that's all you need. So to start with the body, get your, well, get this brick, and get your T-rod, and put it through the hole at the bottom, like so. Then you need to get your 1x2 to slab and your one by one plate to cover the T rod up. Now to make the arms, you're going to need to first put these two nozzle pieces on and turn them so that they're facing in this way. And now to work on the hands. So for the hands you're gonna need a droid body and three of the droid hands and place them on like this so that they kind of make fingers now you need to put these bricks on to make the fingers blue and then just put a stud and there we go. One hand complete. And now you just do the same with the other hand. Like so. We actually kind of need a name for these. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments below to give a name to these kind of bricks that are the fingers. Uh, I don't really have any names for them, so maybe you guys could come up with one. And then you put the stud, oh, whoops. Put the stud, and there's the two hands. Now you just need to work on the arms, which is you just get two of these hinge slabs, you get a flat stud, and you place it on top. Like so. And then you just put the hand on there and click it in, and there you have one arm. And now you can actually rotate it, and you can turn. So there's a lot of flexibility 
but it is a bit hard to actually move. So, yeah. Next, you just need to repeat the process. Put it on like so. And there we go. Now both arms are on. And now you just need to take your plate with a stud and put it on. You, know, you need to make sure that it looks like a normal plate, but just have it in. Have the little stud go through the kind of rod in the middle of the brick. And there you have the body. Now you need to get started on the legs as well as the rest of the body. So, for this you will need a, another one of these cylinder pieces as well as a 1x2 slope brick, three studs in blue, two flat studs, two of these 1x1 bricks with a stud coming out of it and a hole at the back, a 1x1 one one brick with studs on all sides, a 1x1 one one blue slab, four of these 1x1 one one slopes, and two of these beige 2x2 two two, um, circular slabs, and yeah that's all you need. So first you get your uh, brick with all studs on all sides and you put your slab on the top like so. And now you need to build legs around it. So, you need to get your 1x2 slope and your 1x1 your one one brick with a hole and a stud on opposite sides and, a and you also need to get a stud and put it onto the bottom like so. Now get two cylinders and put it on like this and a flat stud and place it on like that. And there we have the leg. So now we need to get to the foot. Basically add the, the circular piece as well as two studs to make the toes and the foot. There we go. Alright, so there's one leg added to the rest of the body. And also add this to the back, like so. And now, we need to just repeat the process with the other leg. Alright. And now we just need to add the toes. There we go. Now, with the toes added on, we just need to put them all together, and there you have your four pieces. Now, you just need to put them all together. So to put them all together, you first need to just grab the body and legs, and you just need to put them on like this and just make sure the T-Rod goes through the legs wait okay and there we go so there's the body now you just need to add the sh water shuriken and you put it on the back right here and now we just need to add the head, move the tongue a little bit, and there we go. There is your very own Ash 
Greninja. Now, he does tend to fall a little bit due to the heaviness of the shuriken, but you can solve that by just having him on a plate or ha um, just making him slouch a little bit, like this. So, unfortunately, this Ash Greninja is a bit bigger than y your average minifigure, and he would be a lot smaller in normal size, but it's not that bad. Still, quite a bit of detail. So, you may be wondering, is there any poses? Well, if you want Ash Greninja to do his signature move, Water Shuriken, then you just need to take a, a bit of an alternate build. So, you take off his R, his hand, and you just need to take off the stud, and replace it with one of these one by one plates with a hinge coming out. Like so. Just position it any way you want. Then you put it on upside down. And now you just take off your water shuriken. And you just need to click it in. this, and there you go. Ash Greninja used Water Shuriken. You also may want to um, put him in one of the popular poses that he does, where he kind of looks like he's running, or something like that. I, I'm, I don't really know how to describe it otherwise. So what you need to do is just bend the knees by doing this and bend both knees like so oh. okay there we go uh, seems to be falling apart a little bit okay so there we have his bent legs Kind of looks a little bit funny, but... Anyway, then you just turn his arms so that they're kind of flying with the wind. Then you just move his legs a little bit. And turn his head, and there you go. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this. Uh, this design took a while to make. I hope, please comment down below if what you like about it, if you think I can improve, and please subscribe and like this video. Bye guys!